how it goes the family, how it goes it. It's been a minute since I've done my little rant and whatnot, but um, had an interesting day, and I figured I'd give my two cents about it. So uh, I believe it was two years ago I did a, my first actual interview with my brother from another mother, Adrian Gonzalez, um, called the Douchebag Complex of the DMV Area. If you're not familiar, the DMV Area is... Washington, D.C., um, Maryland, and Virginia. I come from this area, so um, I have a right to speak on it. And um, I've met a lot of great people here. You know, I think it's like any area has its pros and cons. Met a lot of good people here um, in the area and some, you know, interesting people, good people, bad people, the whole nine. But there's this complex in the DMV area that I always run into. It reminds me why I do not associate with too many people in this area in the DMV area like I used to. And it's the douchebag complex. The aura of the people that, especially people that, um, most times it's not the many of the people that grew up in the DMV area, but it's definitely the people that um, come here from other parts <clears throat> of the world or the United States of America. Excuse me come here from other parts of the United States because they're in the military, because of a job, because they went to school, et cetera, and so forth. <clears throat> and um, what I will say with, with all sincerity is that the douchebag complex is real and it's growing on every single day. Excuse me a second. <coughs> the allergies have been acting up, so, you know. Deep apologies for that. But anyways, so the douchebag complex is real in a way that people love to give you the resume and want to prove always, you know, I'm at a barbecue today um, and I'm talking to everybody, having a great conversation, but, you know, you all, there's always that one person that has to come and give you their two cents about every single topic. They know everything, you know, the, the know of all. And they think that they're on got they're top of the world because they make a certain salary because they live in a certain community, and you know they just think they know it all, and it makes me laugh. <laughs> and they 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 have this mindset of they want to talk about things that you know, it's it's kind of in a sense it's intellectual masturbation, where. Um, and I usually don't like to get vulgar, but I'm just going to be honest about it. It's intellectual masturbation that people practice in a big, big way in the DMV area. I'm sure parts of other, other parts of America. And I'm speaking about the DMV area because it's where I grew up. Well, they have to, you know, people are constantly trying to let you know how smart they are, how many degrees they have, how many certifications they have, how much years of experience they have in a specific field as a professional, um, you know, how much money they make a year and, you know. Um, they have to let you know this. And in 2021, I hate to burst a lot of people's bubble. But in 2021, making a six-figure salary in the DMV area is nothing special anymore. It's It's been done <laughs> many times around. Um, and I had to burst the, this one douchebag's bubble when, you know, he kept trying to tell me about, you know, hey, I did this and that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Big Shot and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, you still got to go to work every day, right? Yeah, I was like, okay, well, then you're nothing special, bro. <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble. You, you're like everybody else. You work your 40 hours a week or maybe a little bit more, and that's it. Um, and then, you, of course, you know, he wants to get into this in-depth discussion in regards to politics, in regards to um, what's happening in other parts of the world from a war perspective. I'm... I, if you watch my content, you know, if you want to catch my attention, you're going to talk about either, either you're going to talk about something that's fun or you're going to talk about business. Um, maybe even family. I can, I can get with that. But if you're not, if you're going to try to brag about political nonsense, you want to bore me. If you're going to brag about the, what you've paid, how much you saved money on paying for an item, you're going to bore me. If you're going to brag about, um, overpriced car that you have, you're going to bore me if you're going to brag about the overpriced house that you have. You're going to bore me because that falls in the category of being basic. Just had to keep it real on that note. And, and that is, to me, that is a part, part of the douchebag complex that people want to brag about these specific things that I've seen my whole life growing up being a homeowner. I saw that. I grew up in the house. My mother owned the home. 
having a nice car, grew up in a house where I saw my mother and other people within my family, aunts, uncles, cousins, have nice homes and cars. Being good parents, I saw that growing up. So when people brag about these things, I'm laughing at them. It's like, that's what you're supposed to do. It's like drinking water and breathing air. You know, if you have a, if you're a professional in your career, you're supposed to get paid a good salary. You know, now if you're talking about investing, which that's why I was trying to gear the conversation towards, but he, um, this one gentleman who will remain nameless, um, kept trying to, um, basically kept trying to, um, talking about, you know, how he's the ruler of all and knows every single thing when it comes to politics, when it comes to his job and this, that, and the other. And he actually wants to be like, wants to go back overseas and I guess, um, do whatever he does for a living. I was like, okay, great. And I kept switching the conversation back to, okay, yeah, well, I'm talking about the state of Bitcoin right now um, because it's down. And, of course, he's like, I don't don't mess with Bitcoin. You know, you see where it's at now? I said, well, good for you. And I just went back to my conversation um, because I was was bored with the whole, um, I make this amount of money a year and I'm I'm all that. And, you know, my house costs this amount of money. Basic conversation gets, I always quote Damon Dash. He says, um, I don't like to waste time with people. It's, and I don't like to engage in conversation that's considered a waste of space in my brain because that's like a waste of space in my brain. That's my brain is like real estate and I want it to grow value. And I love that statement from Damon Dash. I think that's one of the realest things ever. He's like, I want, you know, I want to put seeds in my brain that's going to grow because that's what assets do. They're like little seeds, whether it's a gem from content, you're, you're listening to a book you're reading, a book you're listening to, um, conversations that you have, you know, because conversations matter, you know, conversations matter, books matter, action matters, all these things really matter in a real big, big way. But, um, but the conversation, the so conversations with certain people just wasn't going anywhere. And it's because the douchebag complex is, it's a lot of people, especially the transplants that come to the DMV, they have an aura about them is that they're gonna they're gonna brag about what they've done and where they've been and all this that and the other and they should be running every freaking thing and this that and the other. But we live in an era now of not only the entrepreneur but the self employed but the and the passive income earner, and that's who most kids are looking up to nowadays. So, six figure income earners, nothing wrong with you. I'm not saying anything bad about you, but if you have a douchebag complex, when obviously going into any any specific career field is probably going to intensify, especially if you're getting paid more, if you're getting promoted, things of that nature. And like I said, once again, I don't even hate to burst your bubble. And I'm talking to the people with the douchebag complex in the DMV area. I hate to burst your bubble. But I'm going to tell you with all sincerity, if you're making a six-figure salary, if you live in D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, DMV area, okay? Washington, D.C., D, M, Maryland, V, Northern Virginia. You're basic. If you're only doing that and and paying bills like everybody else, you're basic. And is is there anything wrong with being basic? No. But when you try to brag to people that are think outside of the basic box, we're laughing at you. And I'm not I'm not arrogant. I'm not. I don't think I'm better than anybody. But I really I really like. I'm I consider myself a humble person. So I really do laugh at people that like to brag about being basic. It makes me laugh. Uh, I have more respect for the person that's making real money moves and doesn't have to brag about it, you know? And like the bragging should be, I'm making these money moves, yet I'm trying to help other people do the same thing in order for them to be able to turn their job into an option and not a must. Six-figure income earners in the DMV area, a lot of times they have a mindset of, I'm going to brag just so I'm going to get this nice job and this salary and this house and this car just so I can live in this neighborhood and be secluded from society and brag about it when I go to a family picnic or family reunion and things of that nature. But I'm not really going to contribute anything back and give that give any game to anybody else um, so that they can do the same thing and so that they can have options and not just be put in a position. They only have to have a job and be beholden to the job. That's why I like to make this content and whatnot, because I want people to be able to be put in a position where they can have more options. I want the youth to be able to 
know that there's more options out there in the world than not than just only going to college and just only going to trade schools and just only joining the military. All those things are great, especially if one wants to serve their country in any sort of fashion. I applaud them. Having options is a beautiful thing financially because when one gets gets middle age, you know, especially in the 30s and 40s, they might see themselves and like, okay, I'm great at my position. I'm great in my career. But I can't stand it. I'm bored with it. I despise it, et cetera, and so forth. That was the beauty of the pandemic. People had an opportunity to say, I want to do better. I want to do different, et cetera, and so forth. A lot of people with the douchebag complex, they have a mindset that there's only one way for you to make it, and it's either through college or through the military. And that is not true in 2021. That was true 20 years ago for a lot of working people. I could not agree with that more, but it's not true in 2021. That is a great thing. Nothing wrong with that. But in 2021, there needs to be, I'm going to go join the military to make something myself, serve my country, but I got options on the side. I'm going to go to college and get get a degree in biochemical engineering. However, I have an option. I talk about this because especially people who have generational wealth and a lot of people who immigrate to the United States, they teach these principles to their children because a lot, either because they want them to have more options or because they want them to do better than they did. Okay, the option of, okay, well, let me have a business, various amounts of businesses I can have. Let me have insurance policy so that I can have an option of, um, you know, being able to have more borrowing potential. I think that's one thing that's not talked about enough in the circles of working people. How can I have more borrowing potential? Owning a house has opens the door of opportunity for you to not be only be a homeowner, but to be able to get equity lines of credit so that you can utilize money to make money moves doing other things. Maybe you want to buy more real estate. Maybe you want to be a, a stock market investor, crypto investor. Maybe you want to start a business, something to that effect. Whether you want to open up an insurance account for a, or, or a term life insurance account, an individual retirement account, IRAs, um, open up, if you have a business, open up a qualified retirement account, where that opens up another door of opportunity for one to borrow money from, or a whole life insurance policy account. So that opens up another opportunity for one to borrow money, because it's not just about the amount of money you make. It's not even just about the amount of streams of income you have. It's about how much borrowing potential I have. Do I have a business? Okay, do I have not only um, a qualified retirement account, either with myself or my business, do I have business credit cards so I can utilize credit for my business? Which is another area to borrow money from. Having borrowing potential, that's not talked about enough, especially in the African-American community. It's being talked about a lot now, but are these the kind of conversations that are happening in <laughs> family barbecue, when you're at the family reunion, when you're at bike week, when you're at the football party, when you're playing video games. I'm very passionate about this stuff because this is just, it boils around the one word that matters the most. Options. Do I have options to borrow money from this category? Business credit, my house, qualified retirement account, whole life insurance policies, and there's so much more. Are these the conversations that are happening? Most of the time with the douchebag complex, it's not. It's usually how much am I getting from my job? Um, am I possibly going to get a retirement account? I'm going to work until I'm old enough to get Social Security that might not be around. Nothing wrong with that. Add on those other layers. It's like it's like a it's life is like an onion and there's so many layers to a freaking onion. However, a lot of people only want to peel certain layers and don't even want to acknowledge the other layers that exist. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with being basic and having a great career, but open up the door to have opportunities to get access to capital. Rich people talk like this. Working people need to, this needs to be in the language of working people. I've heard a lot of people, especially that come from other parts of the world that immigrate to the United States, this is their language. They, they speak this fluently, very fluently. Some don't even have a high school education, but they speak the language of money. Okay, and my mindset is if you know the language of money, you know how to you how to you know how to find wealth and you know how to create wealth. Not just for yourself, 
but for your family and family's families, generations and generations to come. So that's my biggest pet peeve with the douchebag complex. There's more layers to the onion of life than just the circle of your career and the circle of your past and things of that nature. Because the problem is a lot of times the douchebag complex, they can only make it in the DMV from an economic standpoint, but they always want to live someplace else, but they don't try to figure out how to create capital and get access to capital outside of the nine to five. That's all I'm saying. So kudos to people that serve the country. Kudos to people who have a career. Kudos to everybody. Just add on, learn and out and figure out by consulting financial professionals on how to peel back other layers of access to capital and financial opportunities that can help you, not only you, not only your family, but when times do get hard, because they always do in life, no matter what the situation may be, you have uh, you have options to get access to capital and say if your job dries up, but your, app, you, but your access to capital and, and streams of income don't dry up. Why is that such a crazy concept? I feel like I'm literally kicking a can down the road when I have to repeat myself saying this. But I, at times, I unfortunately, I get caught up with the douchebag complex, especially in the DMV. So this has to be addressed. All right. So on that note, family, do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As I always say, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.